Alright you guys, it's me again. Thanks for doing Life Real and Random here again tonight with Rachel and you guessed it, another Publix haul. And if you see the chicken thing and theme carrying on, i um, gonna keep those transactions rolling and get some free inexpensive chicken, might as well. So let's dive into the haul tonight. This is a $98, almost $99 haul originally and we only ended up paying $16.35. So after I bought a rebates really came into play and um, fetch rewards rebates came into play along with my cash app rewards debit card um, that gives me 15% off any Publix um, transaction. So I got 15% off my groceries tonight just for having the cash app debit card. So I'll have a link down below all the things I'm talking about so some of you who are new have not a clue what I'm talking about, don't worry, don't fret, I'll have everything in the description below, just click, click that little triangle down right about in this section here, where's my finger, there it is, it's a little tiny triangle, you click that, it expands, and um, it has a description in there for you guys, so that way you can, you know, uh, find all the information there. So with that being said, going into it here, we had four of these Morningstar Vegetizers, two of these Daya vegan cheeses, um, two of the Just Bear chicken breast, 24 ounce bags, five, count them, <laughs> of the Just Bear chicken tenders, 14 ounce, um, Dixie 14 count paper cups, and the Always 30 count pad, Discreet, and five of the So Pairing So Delicious yogurt, three Ignite, three recovers from that killer clip brand luckily this reset so you'll see very similar items in my hauls lately but that's because the freebie items are constantly resetting i'm going to take advantage of the freebie items and the reason being is there's various freebie items tonight such as the killer cliffs as well as the two these two items had rebate offers making them completely free on ibotta as well and there happened to be a midweek money boost for five dollar bonus when you submitted 10 rebates so I had uh, exactly 10 rebates in this haul on Ibotta, and I got just not only the money for the rebates itself, plus the midweek money boost booster bonus um, when you submit 10 rebates on the same transaction. So I did that. And it doesn't have to be all in the same transaction, by the way, with the bo bonuses on Ibotta. It could be over cumulative receipts submitted. I just like to do it all at once so I don't miscount because I don't know how many times I've <laughs> miscounted or was off by one or two rebates from hitting my midweek boost or any kind of bonus boosts on Ibotta and I was so bummed. So I just have been training myself to get in the habit of whatever the the bonus is going on on Ibotta and I'm interested in. Um, I just get that amount if I can or as in little few transactions as possible just so I'm not missing out on the extra savings. So stacking on Ibotta is key. So if you do not have Ibotta or Fetch Rewards, this haul will actually not be very beneficial to you. So I highly suggest you check those out and use my referral links down below. And it's completely free rebate apps. And you get cash back to redeem for gift cards or cash back in your account. It just depends on what you choose. So with that being said, let's dive right into the breakdown. Oh, and I forgot to continue on. Killer Cliff Cabot Cheese here. A perfect bar in this True Nut Peanut Butter Powder, which is a new product I've never heard about. So here is the receipt for you guys as always and luckily the Morningstar Farms products were BOGO and there was a high value $1 off or $0.80 cents off um, Morningstar Farm uh, veggie tizers and traditional Morningstar Farm products so check those out make sure you have those. Um, and then the Killer Cliff obviously you can see there they're $2 but you got 2 bucks back for each drink making them completely free so limit of 3 on the Ignite and 3 on the Recover so you best believe I maximized the freebies there. Um, and then carrying on the Just Bear again I'm doing the Fetch Rewards for all the Just Bear products you get 2,000 points back which is equivalent to $2 back on each item so I got 7 items total which means I should get at least 14,000 points but for some reason they gave me a bonus of 2,000 points when I submitted her receipt. So I actually got 16,000 points back on my Just Bear Chicken products. So that was pretty cool. And then, um, what else? What else? I think that's it. It was pretty low-key for Fetch Rewards. But 
You can see their savings in store was $42.65 and all this is coupon action. And DC is digital coupons that you click. They're manufactured coupons on the Publix app. So you can see I did use four products that had Publix um, coupons. So let's dive into that real quick. I'm, on my second haul, I actually did two transactions tonight. So I guess I can give you guys a sneak peek. But stay tuned. But you'll notice in this haul, there's a lot of similar items. So I'm not going to go over in detail the same items that I have in this haul and the haul over there that I mentioned. Because that'd be kind of repetitive for those of you who are watching my channel. But hey, I will highlight it, so just so those who don't watch this one will still know the deals on that one. But just wanted to let you know there is going to be repetitive um, products in both these transactions. But the reason why I'm doing both of them, I was just going to do one and then kind of highlight and mention from deals from the other one. But then I was like, you know what, people like to see the transactions and out-of-pocket totals of what you spent and then what it ended up being after rebates. So out-of-pocket in-store is what we call, um, like um out of pocket <laughs> in store and then overall out of pocket is after all rebates are submitted that's how i view it and see it so some of you may argue well you paid 82.55 but after i bought it and fetch rewards and my cash app debit card um of seven dollars fifty cents off max which i maxed that out um and here's the breakdown for you guys you can see my total came down to 16.35 overall out of pocket so in-store out-of-pocket was $82.55, that's what I paid at the store, but then this is what happened. $42.70 was Ibotta offers that I got back, that's right, $42.70 back just on Ibotta alone, so Ibotta is highly worth it. Um, and then $16 back for 2,000 points for each product, so I got 2,000 points, 2,000 points, 2,000 points times 5 there, so 7 whole times two plus I got the bonus two thousand I don't know why but I did and then this seven fifty is the max um when you spent seventy five or less um seventy five dollars is the cap on the cash shop debit card fifteen percent off on your Publix grocery so I'll go ahead and show you guys that right now so here is the um rebates I don't know if you guys can see that so you'll see like these are some of the the rebates that um I submitted and got all the cash back for right there and here's the other ones and if you notice I want to show you guys this because I want you to see if we count it counts um, each rebate counts not each individual item so when you have limits on your rebates individual rebates which these are individual rebates you'll notice they have um, different numbers next to them that means you can get a dollar twenty five back up to two times a dollar twenty-five cash back. So you buy two products, and it will give you a dollar twenty-five back on each product. Okay. Same with the drink kind of situation. So anytime you see numbers right here, that simply means that's the max limit um, or the limit counts that you can do. Okay. And I always max mine out if I can, depending on how it works out for me and to maximize my savings. So with that being said, if you count along with me the rebates, you'll notice we have one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so there's ten individual rebates that I submitted, so then I could get my five dollar bonus on top of that, which is not factored actually. Now that I think about it, I did not factor that into my math. So here we go, let's do that, people. <laughs> Minus that five dollar midweek boost makes my transaction actually eleven thirty five. Not including if I have any other. Sometimes I'll, there'll be like brand name boost and bonuses, so I'll have to see when officially I bought a submit. So that's pretty cool. So a ninety eight dollar transaction, ninety nine dollars almost transaction, um, and I only paid eleven thirty five overall out of pocket after rebates and couponing in stores. So pretty sweet. So I'm going to give you a highlight breakdown really briefly. These were $4.49 BOGO, and I um, didn't have any coupons, unfortunately, but if you're part of Kellogg's Rewards family members, you can get um, it's Kellogg's brand products. You submit re receipts, and then you can cash them out for, like, prizes and rewards, but I always cash them out for high-value coupons. So unfortunately, I didn't do that this haul because I didn't have very many points in my account at the time, but usually that's what I'll do, so I highly recommend you do that, because if you had that, this would turn into a sweet deal, because they're BOGO for $4.49, and if you had $1 off each product, that would bring it down to 2 dollars 
and then there was a dollar back on each one limit of five i only got four because i buy in increments of bogo sale so i hope that makes sense um to maximize your savings if you want to low keep your out of pocket low um so if you had those two manufacturer coupons printed from kelloggsrewards.com um, you just create a free account with them and I can click down, uh, drop down a link below for you guys in case some of you want to check that out and figure out how to do that. Um, but really simple. Uh, and then, so that would only make these 49 cents for every two bags. If you had the two manu $1 manufacturer coupons and then submit on Ibotta for another dollar and a dollar, that's $4 off the 449 BOGO sale, 49 cents for two bags. That would be amazing to get it 25 cents a bag. Heck yeah, when these are not like what, $4.49 each normal cost just for one bag. So we got a lot of these. Whenever they go BOGO, vegan meats and vegetarian meats, um, we always stock up because it's rare when they go on sale and when they have Ibotas and coupons. So I try to stack and stock up whenever I can and to maximize my opportunities. So there's a breakdown for those of you who wanted to know that. The diet cheese I had on the website, if you subscribe to brands newsletters, E emails um they'll send you coupons like all the time so dia i'm i just went to dia.com and signed up and put my email in there for their emails for coupons and i got dollar back uh coupons for each one of these and the product wasn't on sale usually they'll go bogo but it's been a while and we go through this cheese quite a bit and it is vegan cheese so it is costly but when i have a coupon i'll usually get it plus a rebate so there was that 125 back for each on Ibotta plus the one dollar manufacturer coupon I printed from the website's newsletter and so it basically makes these these were $4.99 regular price not on sale um, and then I submitted and I paid to a dollar coupon so that's $3.99 and then get the dollar 25 back so it's what $2.25 or $3.25 roughly sorry $4.99 minus the dollar coupon is $3.99 minus the other additional um, dollar 25 so that's yeah 225 off combining coupon and sale or coupon and ibotta sorry guys <laughs> all right and then moving on these were 4.89 in store you want to look for the 30 count very hard to find make sure you find it don't grab the wrong ones because if you want to stack this deal with a Publix coupon in one of the Publix flyers in the front of the store just or customer service just ask them for the Publix coupon flyer um, in the celebrations flyer, I believe it is. There is a two dollar off, and he always discreet. But the count starts at twenty eight through like sixty something, and this is the only one that will match that coupon. So just make sure you take note of that if you're getting this deal. And then I had a five dollar off high value um, digital coupon and the manufacturer coupons under the Publix app. So this ended up being a major money maker. So it was four eighty nine in store. The five dollar manufacturer coupon on the Publix app came off. So that's already a money maker right there. That's what 12 cent money maker. Plus they took the $2 off for the Publix coupon. So this ended up being a $2 and 12 cent money maker. So all that overage then gets applied to lowering my out of pocket cost. Okay. So that's how you like, even though I don't personally use this, I can donate it. It's a great donation item or giveaway to somebody, you know, who could use them and you still make money so all of this, every time i get money makers i always take them obviously because they lower my threshold and that 212 overage now applies to all my stuff that doesn't typically is not on sale or have high value coupons on it so that's why i take money from makers or random products you'll see in my hauls that i personally don't use but hey if they make me money i will always take it all right so the dixie to goes they were on an advertised sale for 219 right now in store and there was a one dollar off i think it was or 125 125 or one dollar digital coupon i think it was one dollar and then the, i bought an offer it was a dollar 25 so this turned into a slight money maker by like six cents okay so again all that overage counts towards your out of pocket the Just Bears were $5.99 for the tenderloins. If you want to make this deal even sweeter, if I would have gone with all like the thigh meat or the drum legs, I would have saved an additional dollar times five count packages. So I would have only paid if you took that factor that number in, if you subtract five more dollars off of that, it would have been like I paid $6.35 for this haul. If you went with the drums or the um, thigh meats over the tenderloins but we only eat white meat when we do eat meat we try to only stick with the white meat and lean meat so we went with that for our family but just to maximize your money if those of you who are more budget friendly and conscious than i am which is kind of 
crazy to say that, but I know some things are tight and I'm, you know, like, I know I'm blessed beyond all measure thanks to the good Lord, but I know some people can't afford the tenderloins. So I just wanted to make note of that for you guys. So check that out. So, so these were $5.99, but if you got the thigh meat or the drum legs, they are $4.99. So that's where I'm getting the math on that. All right. And then you bought two of these cause I had to buy two for that. I bought an offer to get six bucks back. Um, but then again, plus the fetch rewards gave me 2000 points back. So I got to double stack rebates. Um, both Ibotta and Fetch gave me um, cash back for these offers, so that was awesome. Same with the Just Bear, same thing. There was a dollar seventy-five back for each one on Ibotta, and some people may have gotten a two-dollar one. My two-dollar one disappeared yesterday, and when it reset, um, it came back at one seventy-five. So sometimes when your offers reset, which simply means once you submit a receipt, sometimes the offers come back and they'll be different. Them. Sometimes they're higher value than what they were originally or sometimes they're less traditionally and usually they're always way less the next time they reset But luckily mine only went down by a quarter after it reset All right, so the just bear was 799 times 2 minus 6 minus 4 so $10 back from that so you paid What was that? Uh, 16 but then you get 10 back so it's like you're paying six bucks for both bags Which is great for the chicken breast and these are the full-size chicken breast fillets all right, the cabbage cheese was all on sale um, for two for five, and there was a high value one dollar and fifty cent off um, digital coupon on the Publix app, manufacturer coupon that is, um, in just digital form. So whenever I say DQ or digital, I'm simply referring to um, for Publix hauls. Just know that they are manufacturer coupons on the app. Okay, so this I only ended up being a um, dollar because it was two fifty minus the dollar fifty makes it a buck. Alright, and the So Delicious pairings, they were $2.29 in store, then I had um, an $0.80 cent printable Blinky coupon from a week last week where I found in front of the product, so that stacked with my Ibotta offer for a dollar back for each one, so I got a $1.80 back off of each individual one, limit of five, so I got five. Um, so it was two twenty nine for each one minus the dollar eighty price from both the one dollar coupe or the eighty cent coupon blinky manufacturer print printed coupon right in front of the store. You know, like you'll see those blinky machines with coupons, pick them up. They're worth it. <laughs> and then I stacked it with the one dollar I bought an offer. So two twenty nine minus one eighty, whatever that math is. <laughs> it's too late for that kind of math, guys. Um, so just know they were. I think I want to say that it's like. Uh, what is that guys? I don't know. <laughs> 229 minus 1 would be 129 minus 80. So like, I don't know guys. So like 40 something cents or so a cup. Maybe less than that. I don't know. I'll have it down below maybe. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> I digress. The um, Kill Cliff brand products, 3 Ignite and 3 Recover. Or um, products. They were $2 each in store on advertised sale. I got $2 back for each one, making those completely free. And then we had two freebie offers. This was $0.99 cents in the store. This peanut butter powder. It was in the peanut butter section on the very high top shelf, so make sure you keep an eye out for it. And I got a dollar back, so this turned into a $0.01 cent money maker. This product here was $2.25 or something. Maybe it was $2.50. For the perfect bar. Yeah, the perfect bars were four for ten, so that makes them two fifty each. And I had a two twenty-five back I bought a um so that was only twenty-five cents for the perfect bar there. But I also had two um snack bar ten cents on any snack bar item, so I got twenty cents, so really it's only like I paid five cents after you factor that I bought an offer. So I got the perfect bar offer brand offer plus the any item, any snack bar times two of ten cents, so if I paid five cents for that. So there's the breakdown of the haul, you guys. I hope that helps um, you, encourage you to get out there and you can still save amongst all the chaos and showing you how to stretch your dollar in these uncertain and crazy times where money I know is super tight for many folks out there. But I just say stay encouraged, do the best you can. And even if you only can save a little, it's better than paying full price in my books. So just start small and work your way in um, to making it happen for your family. So, all right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Again, let's recap here. So, it was 
Oh wait, I know what I was going to do. So I wanted to show you guys because some of y'all don't believe me sometimes. But here's that, um, the points that I got back for the Just Bear Chicken products right there. You can see 16,000 points, which is equivalent to $16. And then on here, I wanted to show you how Cash App boosts are applied. See, I got 15% off my grocery bill at Publix. But what's cool is you notice the total here of $75.05 is $750 from this $82.55. So you ch they ch the store will charge you or whatever um, boost you have applied. It's for restaurants. It could be grocery stores. There's a lot of boosts on the Cash App debit card, so I highly recommend it. It's really great. Um, so I paid $82.55, but what happens is Cash App automatically adjusts the math and takes the 15% off boost applied. So it's like I only paid $75.05. Um, in the store and this is not factoring in any of my rebate apps over here so that's where i got the 750 from which is the difference of the 8255 over here on the receipt from the 7505 okay because it caps you up to like 75 dollars is the cap for like the boosts so there you have it guys i hope you enjoyed that so all in all we paid 11.35 because we had let's see here we had $82.55, um, $42.70 was Ibotta, and then we had the $5 for the midweek or boost for doing 10 rebates. And I want to briefly mention this because some people aren't still going to probably understand this because it, it does take a little bit to get a hang of Ibotta, but once you do, it's awesome. So I'm getting a $5 weekend booster because I submitted 10 offers. So let's count, okay? This counted as one offer, this counted as two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So that's 10 offers, not 10 individual items. Okay. It has to be like whatever the offer is as a grouping, even if it has a limit on it, you can't count each individual item. Okay. It's only by grouping of whatever brand product you're getting. So I had 10 different brand offers submitted. Like I showed you, which qualifies me for the $5 bonus plus all the 4270 that I'm getting originally for submitting all these Ibotta offers anyways. So we got on Ibotta alone, if you do the math on that, 4270 plus the five, it's 4770 that I got back just from Ibotta alone, okay? So 16 is that Fetch Rewards, and then 750 was that Cash App, 15% off groceries at Publix. So 1135 is my total overall out of pocket. Boom. Now remember, go with the chicken thighs or the drum legs, and score an additional $5 off because it'd be less cost that way. So if you do the, that, then your total would be um, $5 less than that, and that would be $6.35 instead. So there you go, guys. Get couponing or get saving or do a little frugalities as much as you can because why do we want to waste our money on groceries and we can save it up for when we the world opens back up and go do fun things when that happens. So, <laughs> right? Or home improvements or whatever you have planned. Um, you know, emergency funds. I know those are huge for people right now, and I encourage you to have an emergency fund because people, emergencies do happen. So anyways, I digress on my Dave Ramsey rant. There you go, guys. Love you all. Have a great night and go get them savings. Until next time. Bye, guys.